This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from very blustery Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. You got the Dow off 502, S&P 81, NASDAQ 337, Russell's down 51, semis are down 89. That's nearly 4% to the downside for the semis. Gold is off 8 bucks, half a percent to the downside, trading at 1662. Silver's off 21 cents, 1866 is the print there. Lights recruit is flat. Natural gas is off 20 cents. The 30-year Treasury down nearly one point, trading out at 126 and a quarter. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. What we do have out here right now is new market profiles that have confirmed the bottom for the ES Mini, which is what the area that's being tested right now. So support is being tested. The bottom of that daily profile is at 36.45. The low so far today is 36.31. We saw a move lower in the overnight session and a push higher. And right now, so if price does close below, uh, really, it needs to close below yesterday's low to give up the buy the D point pattern out there. So that low would be 36.31 and a quarter. The T9 support is at 36.57. And then you've got the uh, profile support at 36.45. So lots of support in this area. Will it hold or not? Well, it's a tough time to hold with that spot volatility above its 50 day exponential moving average, printing out at 32.65. And the 50 days at 26.10. The NQ also has support, new daily profile support, that is. And the uh, bottom that support levels at 11.241. We're trading at 11.228 right now. So that area is also under attack. It's got a TD9 count support level at 11.229. That's the last bastion of hope. But close below that, that would spell trouble for the NQ. The U.S. dollar index also new profile forming, but that is below price. And that's a bullish signal. It does not mean that price won't get down to the 111.91 area. And that's likely where price should target. Uh, gold here. That's a weird looking chart. So I'm not sure what happened here with regard to gold. But what I do know is yesterday formed a nice TD9 count bottom out there. And gold has run right into resistance. And resistance is the bottom of its old profile at 167040. If price can close above that, that would be a positive for Goldilocks. Silver is, a, is really trying to get back above the center of its bullish structured weekly profile, which is 1884. Close above that at week's end would be a positive outcome. Light speed crude right now just dealing with this new profile, supported 81.47, resistance 86.68. The uh, natural gas contract, uh, well, I'm, I don't know why I don't have yesterday's signals. I'm going to have to reboot this system before we start the show. But um, so I don't have a good read there. The 30 year Treasury also forming a new profile. Support there is at 126.04. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.